What's going on everybody? Thanks so much for joining me again this week. My name is Jeremy. I'm a motion graphics designer, animator, and 3D hobbyist. This show is an unrehearsed screen recording of my workflow and a peek into my journey to develop a deeper design skill set. Here, it's not so much practice makes perfect, but more practice makes progress. This is The Drill. And again, welcome back to this week's episode of The Drill. This week, what I am getting into is uh, I'm having a good time playing around with some texture maps from actual planets. So I found this awesome set of texture maps of Mars, Earth, the Moon. I believe Venus is on there. The link will be in the in the show notes below. Uh, it's a free resource and it's uh, 8K texture map. So what I was just doing is playing around with using a real life texture map, uh, building a star field. Um, uh, this was an image of the Milky Way that I found on uh, Google Images. And the setup for all of this is really simple. It's it's just applying that into the the diffuse channel, uh, and uh, there the texture maps that came with it do have maps for their uh, reflection and uh, I believe the normals, um, if not the normals, the bump. Um, so you get a little texture off of that, and you get an a accurate surface map of different planets. So what I wanted to do from here was I've been doing a lot of playing around with X particles, but I want to get more familiar with the uh, MoGraph effectors and um, the, the different built-in Cinema 4D tools. So I'm using a plane effector here. Um, on the background, I'm using a, a poly effects to, a, and a plane effector to melt away the, the, the backdrop. And what I wanted to do is have Mars out in space and then melt away the backdrop and have it just in a studio setting. Um, and I want to play with some typography and after effects to throw on some facts about Mars um, and just apply this look. There was um, an excellent Instagram post uh, by uh, Rue Black, that's R-E-U-B-L-A-C-K, that'll also be in the show notes. Um, and that post was from August 15th, 2016. It was a post that I came across when I was first getting into uh, Cinema 4D and I flagged it in Instagram. I actually do that a lot, it's a, a quick tip for you. Um, if you're gonna flag uh, or you know mark to to save Instagram posts, make sure you like them too. Because if you're saving them, it's probably because it's something you like. So uh, what I actually do is I save them, and then I'll go back to them and, and see if uh, it, you know I usually save them because it's a look that I'm trying to tackle at some point. So um, anyway, this this post uh, was this this floating orb uh, with some typography um, in this white studio space. So that's what I was uh, doing here. So. Um, I rendered out two different passes. I rendered out this pass with, with the backdrop and without the backdrop and used the alpha channel to um, reveal the white backdrop behind it um, based on where the white backdrop actually was in Z-Space in the scene. It, uh, it would be in front of the star field at all times. So I did these two different render passes and kind of matted those over each other. And it was a, it was a cool little technique that uh, I was curious if it would work and it ended up working um, exactly as I thought. So. Here we're in uh, After Effects. I'm just applying some shape layers. Um, I'm a lot more comfortable in After Effects. My day-to-day -day is motion graphics design, so I'm playing around with um, I'm playing around with some text layers and animating those on. I actually use some animation presets, which I never use, and uh, is a nice opportunity to play around with them and just see what kind of quick, cool looks I can get. I, I went for this like a fluorescent like bulb flicker on thing so right here I'm just compositing um, I have some shape layers uh, just uh, for you know graphic design wise just to kind of balance the scene I have this dotted line going off to the left I have my Mars facts on the right of Mars and there's a little bit of a circle around it just uh, for the visual element um, and just working on the composite here I wanted this old uh, grainy kind of uh, you know a, a shot from what would look like maybe an old um, you know old NASA camera or something like that or maybe an old probe that went out into space uh, so I'm adding a little flicker on here with uh, a wiggle expression on an exposure adjustment layer um, I've got some noise and scratches on the surface that I made with some fractal noise and um, rendering out here and what I ultimately got was this nice uh, combination of, comp of composition uh, excuse me, of compositing, of uh, applying typography, and playing with different types of passes outside of Cinema 4D. And it was a really fun project, and uh, I'd like to 
probably get into more of these um, texture maps of these different planets and see what else we can get. Mars doesn't have uh, atmosphere, as, <laughs> at least as far as I know. Um, so there is no atmospheric out here. Mitch Myers has a, a great tutorial on um, planets with like an atmosphere on them and stuff like that. That is also in the show notes, so you can check that out. Um, so that is probably where I'd like to go in the future with the next kind of planet if uh, it continue to do a series like this. So I'm talking over the render. Here is my final render. You can see how the uh, star field is dissolving away to reveal the white studio. We have our um, information here on the right side and a little bit of graphic design uh, to balance out hopefully the scene uh, with the with the uh, small almost UI elements uh, around the planet and off to the left so that is this week's episode uh, this is a really fun one to work on um, I spent a ton of time in After Effects um, with this and it's it's something that I'm looking forward to doing more and more is, is just um, using all these tools together so that you could really create something that is not something that you could just kick out of one of them. So anyway, if you have any questions, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. Um, making a point to answer all the comments that I've received. Uh, I really appreciate all the comments and uh, please, please keep them coming. And uh, please do consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitch at Jeremy underscore Walker. That's J-R-M-Y underscore W-L-K-R. You can visit my website for updates or shoot me an email at Jeremy at JeremyWalker.com. Thanks again so much for watching, commenting, subscribing. I really appreciate all the support, guys. And I can't wait to see you all next week on The Drill.